Taka Fits YouTube and let us make this delicious oven chicken and rice. jumping straight into the video I'm gonna be creating a marinade for my chicken and as you can see I've just gone in with my salt parsley all-purpose seasoning smoked paprika garlic powder olive oil and some browning and you just want to mix that up I actually went back in and added a little bit more oil because what I had at first was not enough and once it's all combined I'm just gonna go in with my cleaned chicken breast okay chicken thighs i never cook with chicken breasts ever <laughs> so yes ensure that everything is nicely coated in that beautiful sauce because what we're gonna do when it's nicely mixed in we're actually just gonna wrap it up push it into the fridge for about 20 minutes while we prep the remainder of our ingredients So I'm just going to work on blending some seasonings for my rice. I have two spring onions, two pointed sweet peppers, some green chilies and some mini peppers. As you can see these are nicely washed. I'm just going to clean it up and chop it a bit smaller so it can go into my food processor. And once it's all blended, this is what it looks like really pretty so much flavor into our rice okay so now i have my chicken out of the fridge i'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up one more time before we cook it okay just to make sure that all of the seasonings have you know stuck onto it really well and yes my loves let's go and do some cooking so yes <laughs> i have my pot and i just went in with some oil and we're going to be putting the chicken thigh pieces with the skin side down okay want it to get nice and crispy before we flip it over and i'm probably going to give this about three four minutes on both sides i'm not trying to cook it fully just to get some color and everything going on on there okay As you could have seen my chicken was cooking for about three four minutes on both sides I'm just gonna transfer it to a clean dish and what I'm gonna do is all the juices and oil and everything that's left in the pot I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it onto the chicken and just pop it into the oven while we work on the rice okay because I find that it will just help it to cook a little bit better so using that same pot I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of oil and I'm just going to saute up some onions for about a minute or two before going in with that blended marinade that we had with the peppers, spring onions and everything. And you just want to let that saute for about two minutes, okay? Now I'm just going to mix it up and you know we need to season up everything before we put in our rice, okay? Because if you don't season it, this is going to have absolutely no flavor at all, okay? I like to start by adding in a little bit of salt a little all-purpose seasoning two bay leaves i'm going in with some black pepper of course i put in a little bit of curry powder and now i'm putting about three and a half to four cups of chicken stock so i also added in two scotch bonnet peppers and i let it simmer for about five more minutes before going in with some of that chicken stock from the chicken now i did pop it into the oven just so that it will cook a little bit more because as you know rice literally takes little to no time to cook okay so i tasted my sauce adjusted it to my own preference make sure you do the same and now i'm just going in with about three and a half cups of basmati rice i think this is the quickest cooking rice ever so i really like to use it 
and guys for some reason is it just me but this is looking like jollof rice <laughs> it's actually looking like jollof rice like the mix and everything <laughs> it's it's crazy so yes i'm just gonna transfer that to a baking dish but really and truly after i finished this recipe i was even thinking maybe i should have just kept everything in the pot and just steamed it but listen guys if you want to transfer it to a baking dish like i did here you can do that and then just go in with some butter and your chicken pieces but if you don't want all of that stress trust me you can just leave everything in the pot add the chicken pieces on top cover it on low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes and you will definitely achieve the same results okay it's really not that different okay so after i added all the chicken pieces to the tray i just went in with a little bit of the leftover chicken juices and just basted it onto the top so that the chicken does not dry out and guys as you can see we have a very nice water to rice ratio going on you don't want it to be too dry and the rice doesn't cook okay So I actually checked in my drawer and I literally had the smallest piece of foil remaining, literally the smallest piece of foil. I pushed it into the oven on 180 degrees C and after about 30 to 35 minutes, this is how it was looking, absolutely gorgeous. I removed the chicken pieces and then I just mixed up the rice, you know, just to combine everything because oh my goodness you want all the flavors and everything to be nicely mixed in together so once i already mixed everything together i went back in with my chicken pieces as you can see here popped it back into the oven uncovered for about five minutes or so and this was the finished product so i hope you really enjoyed this easy oven chicken and rice if you try don't forget to tag me on instagram at terrian's kitchen it's a pleasure having you here and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.